We'll get started with some high school rivalry action that took place this afternoon in both Great Falls and Bozeman. First up, a trip to the Electric City where Richard Tiemann was on hand as the Bison and the Rustlers battled it out on the track. Yes, the high school track and field postseason is just around the corner, but before we get there, we have to have a showdown at Crosstown. Rain or shine, Crosstown always brings out the best in young athletes, especially with the window closing to qualify for state. We started the day with the boys' 110-meter hurdles, and to no one's surprise, it was CMR's A.J. LaFerge in first with a time of 14.96. In the 100-meter dash, Reed Harris proved he's not only the fastest in the falls, but one of the fastest in the state. He was cooking with a personal best time of 10.88. Right behind him was teammate Ryder English, who qualified for state with a new personal best of 11.3 flat. I know there's an, another kid from CMR that's running close to my time, so Killing came up and said, this will be a, this will be a push and you'll get it today, so that was sweet. For the girls' 100-meter dash, CMR junior Hope Medill was the first to cross the line in her first AA cross-town experience with a time of 13.54. At the high jump, CMR's Ava McCarthy qualified for state with the personal best jump of 5 feet 2 inches. And for the boys' discus, it came down to Great Falls' Wyatt DeVos and reigning state champion CMR's Anthony Oaks. Devo qualified for state with back-to-back -back tosses of 150 and 151, both personal bests. And for Oaks, it came down to his last throw of the day. He tosses it 157 feet 1 inch, less than 2 feet shy of his state throw last year, but enough to take the throne at Crosstown. I want to see White succeed as much as I do because we're going to Tech together for football. and I, I see him as a brother right now, so I want to succeed. I want him to succeed just as much as I do. But I still want to be on top. And finally, it was time to find out who had the fastest feet in the falls in the 4x100 relay. It would be the Bison boys who get a little redemption from last year, outrunning the wrestlers to the time of 44-20. Congratulations to all who qualified for state as they prepare for divisionals and billings next week. From Great Falls, Richard Tiemann, SWX. All right, thanks, Richard.